Hey, you bit Steve from that old Yorkshire geek. A bit of Harry Potter news. Harry Potter. Oh, should I say Potter? <laughs> I thought I was saying the films over. Oh, Draco Malfoy. Be a Potter. Anyway, a bit of Harry Potter news. Um, rumour, uh, it isn't just a rumour, TV show based on a Harry Potter spin-off game Hogwarts Legacy in development at HBO Max, which is cool. Um, this is from uh, Bounding Into Comics, but the original story was from um, Giant Freaking Robot, so take it with a pinch of salt. But let's have a look. But before we start, uh, links are in the description, or the link is in the description and don't forget <laughs> like and subscribe share the videos drop a comment hit the notification bell if you subscribed i'm also on rumble and the other one odyssey uh anchor.fm spotify uh amazon music podcast google podcasts facebook instagram and twitter and there's also my books Links for those in the description as well as links for my books. There we go, Silent Predator. Look at that marking on that. This 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 is this is my own copy. I'll not be selling that one. <laughs> Silent Predator, uh, a short horror novella and Mercury Rapids, a chunky li uh, live action. A chunky sci-fi action adventure with a light-hearted tone. It's all a bit of fun. Right, as you can see in the background, that's me playing Hogwarts Legacy. Uh, badly, probably. Oh, you can see me there. Look, I'm there, look. Because <laughs> I stream them on YouTube. Right, where were we? So, let's get this up. Let's get this up. So, there we go. Rumour TV show based on Harry Potter spin-off game Hogwarts Legacy in development at HBO Max. It's a great game, it is, so far. Controversy creates cash, including manufactured controversy. Hogwarts Legacy, the prequel fantasy game spun out of the Harry Potter books and films, gets a cold reception from a segment of critics who now despise creator J.K. Rowling. But it's doing well sales-wise, not only doing well, it's doing amazingly, sales-wise with gamers, regardless of the platform. Some of them became Harry Potter fans overnight, eager to catch up on their reading and movie viewing. Warner Brothers... Yes, Warner Brothers must be paying attention and seeing an opportunity as the trusted and reliable sources of giant freaking robot. Take that as you will. A source for all kinds of exclusives, uh, you know, not necessarily pretty ac accurate exclusives. Say a Hogwarts Legacy based series is in development at HBO Max and very early development at that. The series is still in the early phases of development, so few details are available, they say. It's presumed, though, that the series will be like the game and take place in the 1800s before either the adventures of Harry or Newt Scamander of the Fantastic Beasts series. In the hot-selling open-world release, players control a student at Hogwarts School of Witchcraft and Wizardry who has an exceptional, however untapped, mastery of ancient magic. Uh, and there uh, actually looks a lot like my character, because you can customise your character. Uh, can you see me? No, oh, no, I'm going to be... Uh... Uh, actually looks like a lot like my character, if you see him. Apart from the funny hat. I've got a silly hat on mine and dozy glasses. But you've got to wear things that puts up your, your defence and your offence and stuff like that. <laughs> and at the moment, I'm wearing a silly hat and glasses. Uh, but anyway, released for PS5, Xbox Series X slash S and PC on February 10th, it sold a very strong 12 million units to rake in an impressive $850 million globally in just two weeks. And that was about a week ago. It was, when that, that figure was released, so I'm sure it's much higher than that now. That is Warner Brothers Games' biggest launch ever, and the release for PS4, Xbox One and Nintendo Switch are still on the horizon. Uh, my son's waiting for the PS4 version. Don't know why, he's got a PS5, he won't use it. I've said this before, he's mental. And I can, I can say that because he's my son. <laughs> uh, downloadable content expansions, however, are not... Oh, no, I'm not bothered. I'm not bothered. I'm not a big fan of DLCs, to be honest. Players with systems mentioned have the freedom to pick a house other than Gryffindor. Uh, I'm in uh, Ravenclaw. Just fancy the change. Because everybody wants to be in Gryffindor, don't they? So, oh, I'm going I'm to be Ravenclaw. Potter and Friends alma mater. <laughs> Uh, and can also explore... Sorry, I was snuffling. <laughs> uh, 
and can also explore Hogwarts to a greater degree as well as Hogsmeade and lots of other places. It's a very big map, it's cool. Uh, Legacy comes with its perks but is also under fire for a few reasons. Critics lodge the game as anti-Semitic because of its goblin tribe of rebellious bankers. Unbelievable. Uh, and of course this uh, character, Serena, I can't remember her last name. Uh, I think it's supposed to be a she, but she's got a he's voice. Um, a very deep voice and no hint of an Adam's apple, but never mind. As the gamer explains to some critics, putting them in a position in which they are oppressed, in which, they are an, uh, in which they are an oppressed race being further persecuted by the game hero was one dark bridge too far, GFR notes. Aside from that, J.K. Rowling's comments about gender that are viewed as transphobic continue to haunt her in the mainstream, which keeps her in pariah status. And it's all a load of nonsense. It's people just read into stuff what they want to read into it, don't they? I mean, it says more about those people really than it does about the game in my opinion but never mind add to that the decline and failure of fantastic beasts as a franchise which i actually i liked i did like those films as a franchise owing to the legal drama johnny depp was swept up in i didn't like that he wasn't in the third one that they changed him to mads mickelson but mads mickelson did a good job um but you know i'd, I'd have preferred to have seen johnny depp in in that role but i can i can see Spoilers, I can see, um, um, I forgot his bloody name now, uh, Dumbledore. I can see Dumbledore having a relationship with Mag Mads Mikkelsen more than I can see him having a relationship with Johnny Depp. Um, but, because uh, look at him. <laughs> uh, anyway, where were we? Uh, Depp was swept up in and resulted in his firing and you'll have awkward circumstances for Hogwarts Legacy to release under and find success. There is a Pyrrhic boycott of the game by those who disagree with Rowling and perhaps don't empathise with Depp. Their boycott hasn't done a great deal of good, has it? <laughs> $850 million in two weeks. It hasn't hurt the game and may have had the opposite effect. This apparently rings as good news for the tepid Warner Brothers who have been sending mixed signals pertaining to the wizarding world. They want to distance themselves and Ezra Miller from Fantastic Beasts. Oh yeah, I forgot he were in that. But believe in the larger IP enough to promise more content, whether something is in the works or not. Oh, that's it. Oh, that's it. So there you go. Um, what the call her now? I can't remember. Oh, there you uh, Sirona Ryan, yeah. Defends the player and Sebastian Sallow via Hogwarts Legacy. She's got a very deep voice. Apparently for the PC version, there's a patch that uh, makes her voice a bit more feminine. But uh, never mind. <laughs> Doesn't matter. But even my son, uh, I've got... My son is grown up, he's my son, but he's autistic and with learning difficulties. So essentially he's, he's still, you know, he's very childlike in a lot of ways. Um, and he's very honest, <laughs> he says what's on his mind, um, um, embarrassingly so sometimes, but um, even he did notice, he's been, although he's not playing the game yet because he hasn't got it for his PS4, he watches the playthroughs, not mine, he watches other people's playthroughs on YouTube, he does that with games, he, he like researches them by watching playthroughs before he gets them, so he knows what to do, and he's been watching it and he said, why has she got such a deep voice? And I said, um, I don't know, Aidan, that's just the way they've decided to do it. <laughs> I'm not going to go into transgender and all that stuff. Because he just tell me to go away, his eyes had glazed over, and he said, OK, bye. That's enough, that's what he'd say. So there we go. So anyway, I hope, you know, I hope that does come to fruition. It's from GFR, Giant Freaking Robot, so it might not be true, uh, but it might be. Uh, and I won't be surprised, to be honest, because, you know, these streaming services, they're always wanting content, aren't they? So a bit of Harry Potter content wouldn't go amiss, to be honest. Um, but I'd rather see Harry Potter films. I love the Harry Potter films. I watch them regularly, you know, at least once a year, usually around about Christmas time. Because I class the Harry Potter films as Christmas films, because they do have, like, a Christmassy feel, don't they, a lot of them? Particularly the early ones. Um, but uh, there we go, so we'll leave it there. So, good on HBO, Max, Warner Brothers, whoever. Do a Harry Potter uh, Hogwarts Legacy game. But, uh, 
series. It won't be as good as the game, will it? I shouldn't, I shouldn't imagine. Um, but you never know. You never know. Right. We'll leave it there. I'm sure I saw somewhere that... It, or did I dream it? I could have dreamt it. Because <laughs> I did have some weird dreams last night. I saw this story last night, by the way. And, but I might have seen it on, on something. Or I could have dreamt it. I don't know. Because uh, I did have some weird dreams. I had a dream that my car got stolen. And uh, Az from Hill vs Babyface were here. I don't know why. But his car were parked there. And that got stolen as well. <laughs> don't tell him. I don't even know if he drives. I don't think he does, but never mind. <sighs> I'm waffling, aren't I? Telling you my life story. But um, uh, what we're going to say... Oh, yes, this dream I might have had, or I might have heard it, or whatever. It might have been on Friday Night Tights, or it could have been on Midnight's Edge. I don't know. Um, because I, fall, I fell asleep with the TV on, uh, the YouTube playing, so I, you know, I could, it could have osmoted into my brain. But anyway, that it was going to be a modern-day... Um, Hogwarts legacy, set in a modern, modern uh, Hogwarts, uh, where you could have the returning characters, you know, the, of Harry Potter and those as as adults, and it could be you know, about maybe their kids. Um, but um, I don't know if that if that really happened or if I just dreamt it. I'm sure it happened. I'm sure I've I'm sure I heard it somewhere. But anyway, enough of my nonsense and senile moments. <laughs> we'll leave it there. So. Thanks for watching, wherever you are, in the universe. Look after each other. And until next time, I'll see thee.